Oh, that is so good. I want to stop filming just so I can eat it. Wow. Welcome back to Lazy Susan Fusion, the show where we combine classic cuisines with iconic dishes to create a new fusion recipe. Let's spin the Lazy Susans and find out what dish we're cooking this week. This week's recipe will be a Chinese burrito. Making anything new, like a Chinese burrito, requires creativity, and starting that creative process can be intimidating. That's why this week on the show, we have two chefs cooking two different Chinese burritos in two different yet oddly similar kitchens. First up, we have my first idea. I am Trigg's first idea. Uh, I'm normally pretty good, I'm just kind of lazy. And also cooking this week, my last idea. I am Trigg's last idea. Like, save the best for last. You know, version 2.0, new and improved. He's the original Batman, but I'm Christopher Nolan's Batman. And what is your recipe for the Chinese burrito? So my recipe for the Chinese burrito was inspired by Chef General Sao. I developed this recipe in college, so I can't wait to share it with the judges. Are there judges? for this thing? No, uh, that's not in the budget. Sorry. Well, I can't wait to make it and I'll eat it. For my Chinese burrito, I'm going to combine three of my favorite Chinese dishes, spicy fried chicken, garlic sauce eggplant, and a pot sticker. That sounds incredible, chef. Now, what is in the marinade you're preparing for the chicken? Shaoxin wine, salt, ginger, and a scallion. And for the eggplant you're using, I see you're using a Chinese eggplant rather than a globe. Eggplant. Asian eggplant will be better because you can get a piece of skin on every single baton. Anything else you would consider when cooking with eggplants? If you're ever using eggplant in a dish, it's a good idea to salt it. And the salt is gonna draw out some of the excess water in the eggplant. Brown juice, so that it'll fry better. Now, let's check in with the first idea. Looks like he's on his phone. No, I'm just looking up uh, the phone number for a Chinese restaurant. Uh, 你好, 你好. Uh, you speak Chinese? I said I was lazy, not stupid. I actually speak Chinese too. I lived there for two years. There's actually eight different cuisines that China identifies as unique within China. Su, Lu, Yue, and Chuan. Those all existed before the Qing Dynasty in about the 1600s, and those are the ancient cuisines. And then there's the four more modern cuisines, the Hui, Zhe, Min, and Xiang, which all date from the early 1900s. Within China, you will definitely have certain areas that you can find certain dishes and other areas where you can't. And what region are today's chicken and eggplant dishes from? The two dishes that I'm putting in the burrito today are from the Sichuan region. And the first idea, in which culinary region of China did the dishes you're ordering today originate? The hardest part about cooking Chinese food by far is prep. Once you're prepped, you're good to go. So what I do is I make something called a wok clock. I'm sorry, what was that? Wok clock. A, what don't you understand? It's, a, it's like a, a clock no, for No, I understood walk. you. I just I'm thought explaining. it sounded... A wok clock is every item that you need in the recipe in order, prepped and portioned, because once you're cooking, it's all very quick. Now that is a technique I am definitely going to steal. Oh, the first idea is getting a phone call. Let's see if his food is here. Oh uh, yeah, no, dude, I'm uh, just filming this recipe thing. You should come over. We got tons of Chinese food. We're gonna need more Chinese food. Oh yeah, niao. Uh, yeah, hi, sure wall. Yeah, so we're just gonna get started on the Chinese food. The key here is to keep a little bit of everything. First, that's what we're gonna use in our Chinese burrito. No cooking, chopping, cleaning up, no walk clock. As the first idea packs up his leftovers, it looks like the last idea is getting started cooking. And the first wok clock has been set up. It looks like the ingredients for Chongqing chicken, chili bean paste, garlic and ginger, scallions, Sichuan peppers, Shaoxing wine with some salt and sugar, and some toasted sesame seeds, which are probably for garnish. Wow, I can already feel those peppercorns making my nose tingle. The peppercorns that the last idea is using in his recipe are Sichuan peppercorns, which are a cornerstone of Sichuan cuisine. They aren't particularly spicy, but they do leave your mouth feeling a bit numb and tingly after you're done eating. If you've ever had authentic Sichuan food, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm sorry, you've never had real Sichuan food. 
Now it looks like the last idea has just finished frying his eggplant and has made the wok clock for his garlic sauce. Looks like chili bean paste, garlic, ginger, powdered sugar, soy sauce, chicken stock, cornstarch slurry, eggplant, and scallion greens. Those dishes look and smell incredible. You're doing great so far. Thanks. How's he doing over there? He just finished eating. So he's done with his whole Chinese burrito? He hasn't made the Chinese burrito yet. He's using the takeout in a breakfast burrito. So that means he's gonna make his whole dish. So it's uh, the next day. Uh, we have our Chinese food. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna reheat the leftovers. Uh, not much to it. That looks, well, I don't know what else I was expecting. So these are the two dishes that are gonna go into our Chinese burrito. I'm gonna use day-old leftover rice for my fried rice because it's a little bit drier and it holds up better when you throw it into the frying pan to cook for a second time. Once I get that heated up, I'm gonna take all three and throw them into a dumpling wrapper and cook it like a pot sticker. If he can order takeout, I can use dumpling dough that I made Saturday. There aren't any rules here, so sure, that's allowed. Roll the archival dumpling dough footage. He's doing a dumpling burrito. That's pretty cool. I got a dumpling here, so we'll just throw this into. To build our burrito, I'm just gonna take a burrito. Technically, that's a tortilla. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take a tortilla. Fried rice, eggplant, chicken. And after that, it is all burrito. And the first idea is doing his final assembly too. That looks like a lot of leftovers. We may have overloaded this burrito. El Burrito Monster, that guy can fold anything into a burrito, so I'm gonna give it a try. Says the key is the tuck. You gotta tuck it. Can't do it. All right, now I'm gonna cook this like a giant pot sticker. The pot sticker has gone into a shallow fry, and the first idea is has restarted rolling his burrito. Looks perfectly golden brown on the last idea side. He's now going to steam the burrito, and the first idea is still rolling. It's all about the tuck and roll. And the last idea comes out onto the cutting board, and it looks like the first idea's burrito is done as well. Did you get everything in there? Now it looks like we had a little slip out, but uh, there it is, your Chinese burrito. Actually not bad. And it looks like the last idea is doing some ASMR. Sometimes you can hear if food tastes good. Listen. This is a Chinese burrito. Despite my insistence, I am now going to judge both burritos, starting with the first idea. I see you've put two soy sauces on the plate. Looks like a little bit of everything. I see a tofu, some chicken, a dumpling even. As expected, this tastes just like Chinese takeout, and so it's delicious. The flavors are a bit uniform, kind of all blend together. Personally, I would have toasted or grilled the burrito after rolling it. It's just a raw tortilla with Chinese food inside. I guess that's what the chef intended. <laughs> chef. Delicious, but not really a recipe. Now, this burrito, on the other hand, actually does look like a recipe. The plating um, is simple, but did y'all use the same plate for a reason? No, just, just a, a coincidence. coincidence. Jinx. Gotcha. The toasting and the steaming are perfect. Well done, chef. Let's see how it tastes. The immediate blast of flavor is actually quite refreshing after the first burrito. One area of improvement for this burrito, I do think you could have waited a little bit longer for the rice to dry out. Or just make better rice. At least I cooked my rice. So should I choose a winner? Um, yeah, this one, the last idea was much better. It was so good that in fact, the Chinese burrito is now the number one recipe from the show. Whoa, where did those come from? And what's the thumbs up dish? Oh, this? Well, if we land on this tile, then the most liked comment from my previous videos will be the dish for that week. So if there's a dish you don't see that you would like me to make, add it to the comments and like any other comments that you think would be interesting for the show. It doesn't matter if it's your first idea or your last idea. I'm just interested in your best idea. This is Lazy Susan Fusion.